The following video will contain swearing, so you have been warned. This video also contains spoilers. No shit, it's called a summary. Okay, starts out we have some narration by person with glowing hands. Okay, um, expedition. Humans can't do magic, but elves can. Humans don't like being powerless, so they turn to the dark side and use bad magic. You know how people kill whales for oil? It's like that. The elves don't like this. So, humans get kicked out Trail of Tears style. Now the continent is split in half. The shitty human side without magic and the elf magical frat party on the other. The humans don't like that, and have been bitching about it ever since. Scary Dragon King is the bouncer, keeping humans from getting into the party. Humans don't like that, so they kill him. Then kill his still-in-the-egg kid, cause fuck you, elves. Now, present day, King Holier-than-thou Harrow has got two kids, his stepson not Sokka, but he's really Sokka, Callum, and Prince Animal Whisper, and how does that hair work, Ezrin? Little do they know, six Moonshadow Elves are coming to kill them, led by How Could This Go Wrong, Runan, who brought a 15-year-old who has never killed anyone to help kill two children. How can this go wrong? Oh, just like that. Now, King, why did I let you talk me into this Harrow? knows assassins are coming, and just kind of accepts it. His main advisor and former best friend, this is all your fault Viren, argue over what to do and decide to send Viren's son, Flash Thompson, aka definitely picks on nerds, Soren, to go find the elves, which they don't. Just confirm he's gay already, Runan realizes the 15 year old who's never killed anyone might just be a liability, so he sits her out. I can be a murderer, Rayla, goes and tries to kill them herself. Will you be my maybe, Callum, flirts with crazy but cute Claudia, who is also still Salty Mage Viren's kid. I don't want you to die, Viren tells King Holier-than-thou Harrow he's got a, this twid snake that'll let him switch bodies with someone else. Bad at math, Harrow's like, nah, I'm gonna let my 200 guards get slaughtered instead. But that's stupid. Yeah, but at least it's not dark magic. That's even dumber. Shut up, Viren. It's not like you would die for me. Plus, I'm the king. Bitch, kiss my ring. Bad at this, Rayla chases Calum around the castle, alerting no one. Castle creeper Ezrin takes them to Viren's secret, definitely not a sex dungeon. And bam, the dragon prince is still alive. So let's be friends. Best friend Rayla is like, dope. Lunar justice warrior Runan is like, hell no. They fight. Egg escort team runs away. Previously, though, eggs before hoes Calum chains up only into this on Tuesdays Claudia, and steals the her orb thingy that lets Callum do magic. Meanwhile, I would die for you, Viren, talks to you ain't shit Harrow, who tells him he's a servant and to get on his knees. Well, fuck you too, Viren, probably switches Harrow's soul with his birds, then lets bird-bodied Harrow watch his real body get bodied. Totally worth it, Runan and his fellow elves all get captured by My Time to Shine Viren. Egg Escort Team takes a detour to Winter Lodge to recover a will be important later cube, but run into Cool Aunt Amaya. Bad at stealth assassin Rayla gets found out. Fights deaf but can still hear you talking shit, Amaya. Guess I was kidnapped, Callum. Tells everyone he was kidnapped. I'm gonna kill you later, Rayla plays along, and Escort Team gets away. This ain't over yet, Amaya sends that black guy, Corvus, to follow them. Meanwhile, definitely not a villain, Viren, holds a funeral for not-dead King Harrow. He tells dumb farmers that they're gonna kill the elves, and they cheer. Then, only here to say no, Apelli keeps King blocking Viren, and her only defining characteristic is that she's the Viren Contrarian. The kingdom finds out the princes are still alive. All rights, Rayla is losing her left hand because she promised magical jewelry she would kill the princess, and didn't. Back at the castle, I'm gonna be King Viren meets You're Full of Shit Amaya. Pretending to care, Viren bonds with I Don't Believe Any of This Amaya at her sister's grave. Jerk has a point, Viren gets I'm on to you, Amaya, to go to the border. But she leaves her human parrot and best boy, Gren, to go find the princess. But warns back meat knife, Gren, to watch out for Viren, who stabs wouldn't hurt a fly, Gren, in the back for can't hear any of this Amaya can turn around the corner. Egg escort team sails down a stream, and they bond. Find out not scared of anything Rayla is scared of water, and they fight a fish. Should get that looked at Rayla gets into a fight with definitely into this Corvus, but she wins. 
but not before Mr. Chains Corvus figures out tight-lipped Rayla is hiding the fact that good dad, bad King Harrow was killed. Kicks the escort mission into high gear and starts taking them the hard way to elf country. Also, good at magic now, Callum doesn't trust Rayla. Can't believe a related Viren tells idiot son Soren to go find the princes and to have them suffer an accident. Jerk but not evil Soren is not cool with the idea, but dad of the year Viren tells him it's all good. So I want dad to love me Soren agrees. Probably beat his wife Viren, then tells probably hot alien Claudia to help find the princes but to prioritize getting the egg back. On the job, Claudia agrees, but I pick favorites Viren, tells her that if it's between the egg and probably not mine Soren, pick the egg. Actually, nice Claudia is very uncomfortable with this. Can't spit it out Rayla, gets into an argument with just spit it out Callum. They drop the egg into a frozen river. Only adult here, Ezrin, dives in and saves the egg, which is now dying. Needs a hand, Rayla tells the princes about her constrictive jewelry, and they grow closer. Nervous eater Soren and soon-to-be only child Claudia form Team Rocket and start chasing after princes. They had one job escort team, realizes they messed up, and decide to go find help in town. Jock and weirdo Team Rocket decide the magic is the only way to track the princes. But they find conveniently placed braid of now braidless Rayla's hair and are going to use a spell. Thinks all humans are red next Rayla, pretends to be human and it's hilarious. Greetings, fella humans, human fellas. I sure do like hanging out with other humans and talking about things like money and starting wars. Once in town, losing feeling by the minute Rayla goes on a side quest for a dagger that doesn't work. Can't catch a break Callum and egg whisperer Ezrin go to a vet. Surprisingly cool with this vet tells them that he can't help them, but points them in the direction of the next NPC, Ellis. They talk with too cute for this sinful earth Ellis, who tells them about a miracle healer who lives on a haunted mountain. Mystery healer once fixed the leg of her pet wolf Ava. Without a better option, escort teams decides to go find the healer. After getting run out of town, should be fired escort team meets not old the other story, Ellis and Ava, who want to help them. They all travel up the mountain, they bond, then come up with a team combo. Not idea guy yet, Callum comes up with a team plan that immediately falls apart when a massive leech attacks them. Hiding in a tree, Cracks Under Pressure Rayla talks with You're Better Than You Think You Are Ezrin. Meanwhile, on a cliff, Barely a Mage Callum talks with Wolf Girl Ellis, who calls him amazing and draws attention to how dependent he is on his stolen orb. After talking about their feelings, they kill the leech, who spawns many leeches, but blows hard Callum, blows Rayla to get the leeches off her. Almost at the summit, Dr. Doolittle Ezrin reveals that he can literally talk to animals. And probably should have said so sooner, Ava reveals that there is no miracle healer. In the castle's not a sex dungeon, Viren talks to not into this Runan. Get bent Runan tells stupid human Viren that he won't talk. Not taking the hint, Viren asks him what this magic mirror is that he looted from the Dragon King's lair. No fucks given Runan tells powers he can't control Viren that he has found something worse than death but won't elaborate. Guantanamo Viren tells definitely a dime Runan into a literal dime. The reveal that Darth Viren has gone full Sidious. Also, Eternal Optimus Gren is chained up in the not sex dungeon. Literal animal whisperer Ezrin tells everyone that he can talk to animals and no one believes him because in a world of magic, talking to animals is where they draw the line. Being a dick Callum tells just a kid Ezrin this is why he has no friends and not an idiot Rayla sides with Doolittle. Walking up the mountain, they encounter nightmare fuel and shit your pants sized spiders. Who's laughing now? Ezrin proves he can talk to animals by communicating with the spider. I was a jerk face Callum does the I was a jerk face dance, appeasing the scary face spider and lets them go up the mountain where they meet the miracle healer who turns out to be an illusionist moon shadow elf named Lujan. Not what she seems, Lujan reveals that everyone's favorite four legged friend Ava is actually everyone's favorite three legged friend. Bakes it Lujan, reveals that was fine all along Ava, was given the illusion to keep the humans from putting her down, old yeller style. Not faking it, Lujan reveals that they need to hatch the Dragon Prince in the heart of a storm now, or he will die. This seemingly impossible task is actually quite easy to pull off when stole from his girl Callum remembers that Claudia's magical orb contains an actual storm. One for the team Callum smashes the only thing that ever made him cool and the storm is released and new cutest character Zim is born. Hurt me and they'll cut you Zim bites off their worth a hand Rayla's hand strangling jewelry. 
all the way on a different mountain, follow the Rainbow Team Rocket, has gathered all the materials they need, and perform a tracking spell that creates a rainbow that points to where the former Egg Escort, now Dragon Escort team is. Second cutest pet now, Bait, eats some of the tracking fireflies. The rest of the team basks in the cuteness of sells the most toy Zim. Knows what this is, Lujan, looks on worried, proud of his kids for once, Viren, watches the rainbow, and cut to black. That was season one, everybody. Thank you all for watching. This has been Sarcastic Chorus. If you haven't seen The Dragon Prince yet, go watch it. If you have seen The Dragon Prince, go watch it again. We don't want this show to get canceled after season three, so we got show our support. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I love you all.